I saw a very short video. Uh, okay, my video. Is... Uh, you want me to switch it? Oh wait, no. Uh, Brother Ryan. Yes. Say your memory verse. Okay. There you go. Where would like to share my memory verse. I would like to share my memory verse. It's um Mark seven twenty five twenty six. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive them. That your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So. Uh, we will do that on the Facebook Live, Sister Maricel. So that's just a practice. Okay. Okay. So, you guys, it's okay if you, could, if you bring your Bible and then I make him more closer to the video because ang nakikita namin katabi ay mga quotes. Yeah, so this is a practice. Kung Sister Maricel, kung gusto birthday natin, Ah, wala kayong audio. Okay lang, bro. Okay. okay lang. Yeah, so maybe we can start now. Um, do you have any prayer request po? Or myself? Uh, birthday, birthday greetings to Malcolm ah. and uh, also Rems, right? Okay. Uh, 15th is Malcolm, 17th Malcolm and Sean. Mr. Berla, would you mind to okay. What is it, Mark 11? Mm -hmm. 25? 25. Okay. Okay, let's start now. Hallelujah. Okay, Brother Ryan, let's uh, let's start. We are with opening prayer, Brother Ryan. Okay. okay. Let's pray for our hearts. Let's pray. Father God, we praise you. We thank you for another day for a new hope, Lord. Thank you for for keeping us safe against uh, COVID-19. We're still here, Lord, and thank you for protecting our family. Prepare our hearts, Lord, for today's service uh, of all the um, uh, anxiety, Lord, and all and our uh, problems. Um, <clears throat> help us, oh Lord, to overcome. Forgive us our sins, Lord, and. Uh, <clears throat> Give us uh, uh, always a good health. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Dear Cecilia, let's pray for our tithes uh, and offerings. Good morning to all. Um, let's pray for our tithes and offering. And let's thank the Lord for all his blessings upon us. So let's bow our heads. Lord, 
We are gathered together this morning, um, this Sunday, Lord, to praise you and worship you, uh, not just uh, through saying our requests or our prayers, but to uh, worship you through our tithes and offering. Lord, we are here today to um, thank you for all the blessings that you have given us throughout the week. And day by day, you are with us, protecting us and guiding us and helping us with all our circumstances, with all our challenges. For whoever has a physical uh, and financial challenges, we are grateful, Lord, because um, you've been providing for us, for you are a great provider, for our, you are our Jehovah Jireh. We thank you, Lord, that uh, we can still work, that we can still, um, even working from home, working at the facility, working at the site, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for pouring out your blessings, pouring out your protection for each one of us. Lord, as we give today, may we remember the ones that are in need, for the ones that are lost, for the ones that um, need help financially, Lord. We know that you can reach them. We know, Lord, that you can um, accomplish their goals in life, Lord. Thank you, Lord, because you have been supplying us with all your riches. And thank you for supplying us according to your riches and glory. Thank you, Lord, that you're allowing us to give. That you're giving us a cheerful heart, Lord, so that we can give with wholeheartedly, Lord. And may this tithes and offering that we will be able to uh, get today, Lord, may we use it to reach uh, for your kingdom to reach the soul of the ones that are lost, lo Lord. And thank you, Lord, for our church, our ministry, that we can still continue to function even through this Zoom meeting, even through other media, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that uh, you are so faithful, Lord, that even though through our unfaithfulness, you remain faithful to us. And even though through our weaknesses, Lord, you've been forgiving us. And as we give, may we just remember the ones that are in need, the ones that are uh, dearly need you, dearly need you, Lord. And we just want to praise you again and give you glory for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. To uh, all who wants to uh, give their tithes and offerings, uh, Please Venmo it and um, Sister Merla will confirm when it's received. <clears throat> uh, this is not part of the program, but I just want to express to you guys that uh, what we have uh, started uh, in our uh, giving is uh, the project of uh, we can uh, send this uh, sack of rice, sacks of rice, if we could uh, uh, have those, or God enable us uh, to provide all those needs so that mm -hmm. we can become a channel of blessing. So far, uh, we have two churches, uh, three churches already uh, responded to our, our call. And uh, it is like, as the Lord bless us, we can be a blessing to others. So thank you for those who advancedly giving their uh, donation or contribution for the sacks of rice and uh, I don't want to mention you guys but the Lord knows who you are blessings to you all thank you Marisol um, since we still have time before uh, we go live on Facebook any uh, anybody uh, who has prayer requests or praise reports um, you can raise your hand and uh, you can testify or you can read your, um, yeah. or you can say your prayer request. So we have time before uh, well, 10 o'clock. Continue to pray. If nobody is uh, praying, uh, I think uh, uh, we just remember again for those who are in our prayer lists. 
Okay, we thank God for Sister Tessie that uh, she been uh, uh, out in the hospital and thank be to God for the Lord is good. Amen. Let's give an applause to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's sing that song. God is so good. God is so Praise the Lord. Amen. Any other person who will give the praise report, please do so. Uh, yes. Uh, again, it's me again. <laughs> Happy birthday to all celebrants. And uh, we are grateful. Uh, that the Lord has given you another year, okay? For Sean, Rance, uh, for Malcolm, not Malcolm X, but Malcolm Ganja, okay? And also we thank God for Jeremy and Marissa for celebrating their birthday this month. And uh, we pray for a blessing to you. Shall we sing that song, Happy Birthday? Let's join with, uh, join with me as we sing uh, the song together. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Let us pray for them right now. Let us lift up our hands to them. Lord, we thank you. For those who are going to celebrate this month, uh, we lift up to you, Lord, uh, welcome. We pray for Sean, we pray for Jeremy, we pray for Marcel, that they will experience joy and uh, an expressible joy, overflowing joy, abundant blessing of God will rest upon their life. May they know, may they encounter God, the, the true happiness in their life through our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray, God, the protection uh, that we ask from them, wisdom, knowledge, oh Lord God, that will lead them, will guide them through, Lord, throughout this year and the years to come. We commit our prayer to them in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's, let's, let's Mr. Ray. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Ray, let's uh, pray for Ati Grace. Uh, Cecilia posted, play, pray for Ati Grace, upcoming surgery, and for... Um, Pray for strength for Imelda, for her radiation. Pray for their facility, that they will be able to admit patients. Yeah. Uh, Sister Imelda and... Uh, um, Grace. Grace. Yeah. Who is Grace, uh, Sister Imelda? Sister? No, that's my co-worker. Okay, okay. Yes. She, yeah. We pray for, for the... Uh, facility as well. They're they're all uh Ate Grace is my co-worker as well. You know her pastor. Okay, okay. All right, very good, very good. Okay. So that's good. And um so we're gonna we're gonna pray. Pray uh the Lord will uh, pour out the uh, blessings upon our protection as well, okay. Uh, specifically for grace lord hallelujah 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 we thank you lord you are awesome god hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. We come to the throne of the grace uh, god has given to us Amen. thank you lord hallelujah let's worship the lord let's intercede on behalf of uh this prayer request. Uh, oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pray Thank for you. the continuous recovery of uh, Sister Juliet. Hallelujah. Lord, for Sister Grace. Lord, uh, for Annabelle's uh, recovery. Lord. Lord, for Sister Tessie's recovery. Even Lord, Sister Tessie, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Our sisters that are uh, experiencing. Lord, we lift up to you, O oh God. These people unto yours, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord, Jesus. 
and a good teacher. You know our condition. We come and approach to a holy God. Hallelujah. We ask, O oh God, for your blessings flow. We ask, O oh God, for your touch be upon them, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, at this time of need. Lord, may they open their hearts. May they come to you, Lord God, as a source of the blessing, O oh God. We ask, O oh God, for your touch be upon those who seek, Lord, those who are seeking for healing, and those who are recovering, O oh God, from the, their sickness, O oh Lord God, from their illness, O oh Lord God. Lord, may they encounter from darkness into light, O oh Lord. And you are the light, O oh God, that will shine in their hearts, that will completely heal them, not only physically, but, Lord, spiritually. Oh, the throne of your grace, O oh Lord God. We come into the source of life. We come into the source of wisdom. God, you are the source of wisdom, O oh Lord God. We pray for the wisdom for Sister Imelda, Lord God, as she directed uh, also uh, some of the members of the facilities of God. We pray that lay it out to them, O Lord God, that all the staffs, O Lord God, will uh, come into a peace, at ease, O Lord God, in this situation. We claim the victory. We ask for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Pastor Ray, may nag-post pa. I, hindi ko alam kung sino, but she's, uh, he or she is asking for uh, to pray for her or his health and peace and protection, especially at work. It's, I don't know who it says. It, from 895-00-490-808. Amen. Yes. Oh, Sister Danceline. That's yes. Sister Danceline. Amen. Dance wherever you are, if you're listening, and uh, our prayer uh, will come to you right now. Lord, we lift up to you once again our sister in the Lord, her family, her family, oh God. We ask and lift up to you, oh God, with your hands. We commit our our concern unto you, Lord God. As you had promised, O oh Lord God, cast all your cares upon him, and he will carry it for you. Thank you, Lord, that you are God who cares for our concerns, our challenges, our problems, our uh, shortcomings. Even, Lord God, uh, you, you know our victories. Lord, whether we experience those, O oh Lord God, we, we come, we come unto you, Lord God. Uh, you are our guide. You are our uh, consultant. You are our advocate and friend. Lord, we lift up to you this uh, Kamoa fan. Pray for Sunday. Pray for the children. Pray for uh, uh, the parents. Uh, Sister Zenny, O oh God. For Danny, O oh God. Pray for uh, Sean, Simon, Lord. For Daphne, O oh God. Pray for the household, O oh God. Bring them, Lord God, closer to you, Lord God, that they will guide by your truth, O oh Lord, that they will be set free, O oh God, for all those uh, concerns, O oh Lord, God, that they will put priority unto you, because as you promise, O oh God, that seek the first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added unto you. Thank you, God, for that promise. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Okay. Uh, and one more for uh, Sister Cecilia. We would like to pray uh, for her family to con for continuous protection and help them to increase their understanding, patience, and love to one another. And also, I'm requesting for uh, um, Marlon's future surgery and for my uh, friend Lija, she has uh, breast cancer. She's in uh, Abu uh, Dubai. And um, for uh, Ati, uh, Ati Alice, Marlon's uh, aunt. Okay, you have a list, Sister Marlon. Let's sing a song unto the Lord. Worship God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship the Lord. 
praise the Lord. We worship the Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Let's sing a song to remain unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus. will set us free. Jesus, as he mentioned, that uh, he who has Jesus, he who has the Son of God, will set them free. Hallelujah. Not only in salvation, but he gives life fully and abundantly. Hallelujah. As he had promised to each and everyone, those who believe. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord, for Alice healing. Lord, we pray, oh God, for continuous uh, guidance be upon her, Lord. We pray for Lydia, our Lord God, also for, for his family, oh God. Let your healing begin, oh God. Hallelujah. And even for Marlon's future surgery. Lord, we pray for Sister Cecilia's increase of understanding, oh God. For wisdom that comes from above, oh God. As a family, oh God, we always do have challenges in life, oh God. I leave up to you all the rest of our family members, oh God. As we uh, walk by faith, O oh Lord God, as we live by faith, O oh Lord God, we acknowledge unto you, God, as a source of all our answer. Hallelujah. We declare victory. We declare your promise, O oh God, is true, God, to our lives, O oh God. We might be something, O oh God, misunderstood, O oh, we, we might be, O oh Lord God, shortfall of our deeds, O oh Lord God, but you are faithful, O oh God. But you are faithful, O oh God, to keep us, O oh Lord God, in line, in tune to your will, O oh God. Lift them up unto you, Lord, all the family, even, Lord God, for the Antinero family. Hallelujah. Pray, O oh God, for the Antinero family, that you, God, that you touch them, O oh God. Start from Mar uh, uh, money. Uh, money, Lord God. We lift up money into your hands, O oh Lord God. Lord, delight yourself unto him. Sister Cecilia, oh God, pray for a guidance and a wisdom that she will come closer unto you, Lord God, because the source of peace, because the source of understanding, it comes from you. The peace that passes all understanding through you, Lord. Hallelujah. Pray for the children, oh Lord God, that they will be uh, understanding, oh God, that they will have an, a clear understanding of what is uh, to be set free, oh God. Hallelujah. That they will receive the freedom, the joy, happiness that comes from you. Yes. Hallelujah. I also pray for the rest of the family, oh God. Hallelujah. Who is, uh, who are hearing in this prayer right now, oh God. Pray, oh God, for uh, the future surgery of Marlon, oh God. We ask, oh God, for the wisdom among uh, the nurses, the, the, the doctors, oh God, the plan, oh God. Oh Lord, hallelujah. We don't know, but we continue, oh God, for the a, a, a continuous uh, progress, even Lord God, for a miracle, oh Lord God. If we can do it, oh Lord God, hallelujah, but you can totally heal him, Lord God, and thank you to God, hallelujah. 
O oh Lord God, with our limita limitations, with our understanding, O oh Lord God, and we set our mind unto you. We co co commit our prayer unto that, that day, O oh Lord. Hallelujah. Pray for the rest, uh, uh, assurance of our uh, peace of mind, O oh God, among the Seraldi family. Hallelujah. For her auntie, O oh Lord God, for you complete, for the complete healing, O oh God. Healing of the physical body, healing of the spiritual uh, 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 standing, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah. We commit Alice into your hands, Lord. We pray, we intercede in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let's continue to worship the Lord. Let's, let's prepare for our let's prepare for our communion. May I call Brother Jerome? Brother Jerome, uh, are you here for our communion? Yes, is uh, give me one second, okay? Okay. Morning, Salahat. Morning. Today, as we um, partake the Lord's Supper, it's once again a blessing uh, to remember the work of the Lord on the cross and also to look at the bread and the cup and what it means for us as the member of the body of Christ. Paul said, Paul said, it's not the cup of blessing which we bless a sharing in the blood of Christ. It's not the bread which we break a sharing in the body of Christ. Since there is one bread, we who are many are one body, for we all partake of the one bread. So the bread actually symbolizes um, the body of Christ. Since there is one bread with many members, also is the body of Christ. We are one, but also many members. And if you're willing to partake with us, and if you're ready, let's go ahead and take the bread. Paul said, for I received from the Lord that which also... I also deliver to you that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat the bread, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let us uh, bow our heads in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you once again for this opportunity that we can come together and share in the Lord's Supper and to remember the work of the Lord on the cross on our behalf. And we thank you, Father, that you made him sin whom knew no sin to be sin on our behalf so that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And also uh, the gospel, Father, uh, that he died for our sins according to the scripture. He was buried, and then he rose again the third day, and he was seen by men. We thank you, Father. As, as we partake now, we also are mindful uh, that the bread symbolizes the unity, the oneness unity we have in the body of Christ, that we will continue to strive together to keep the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. We will continue to serve love one another. We thank you now for all of these things. We pray in the Lord's name. Let's partake of the bread.
Now let us take the cup. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let us bow our heads in a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for the blood of the new covenant. And as we partake today, we are mindful that without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sins. And it is the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that continuously cleanses us from all sins. And as we partake, we continue to look forward. May our lives and our heart be ready. When the Lord comes in the clouds to meet us in the air, we thank you for all these things. We pray in the Lord's name. Amen. Thank you, thank you, brother Jerome. Uh, may we call on Anduel? Um, he's going to render us a, a special song today. Anduel. Hi, everyone. Hello. <laughs> okay. Are you ready for your special number? <laughs> Why you ever chose me has always been a mystery. All my life I've been told I belong at the end of the line. With all the other lines, with all the never get it right. But it turns out they're going to all this time. Cause I'm just a nobody, trying to tell everybody. How somebody forsake my soul Never since rescue me And give my heart a song to see Living for the world to see Nobody but Jesus Living for the world to see Nobody but Jesus Most of the sad stage fright And they live all rock to a certain you picked 12 outsiders, nobody would have chosen and you changed the world. Well, the moral of the story is, everybody's got a purpose. So when I hear that devil start talking to me, saying, who do you think you are? I say, I'm just a nobody, trying to tell everybody. All about somebody who saved my soul. Ever since you rescued me, you gave my heart a song to sing. Living for the world to see, nobody but Jesus. Living for the world to see, nobody but Jesus. Let me go down, down, down in history. As another blood brought faithful member of the family. And if they all forget my name, well, that's fine with me. I'm here for the world to see, nobody but Jesus. Let me go down, 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 in history. Go down in history. I was another brother, a faithful member of the family. That's all I ever want to be. And if they all forget my name, well, that's fine with me. I'm living for the world to see nobody but Jesus. Cause I'm to nobody. I tell everybody all about somebody who saved my soul. Ever since you rescued me, you gave me one song to see. Living for the world to see. Nobody but Jesus. Living for the world to see. Nobody but Jesus. World to see. Nobody but Jesus.
Very good. Since uh, we have more time before we go live at 10, uh, we have more time. Brother Jerome, is uh, Ati Tessie uh, home yet? Uh, wala pa sis. May ano siya eh. Uh, Inobserbahan muna siya kasi yung uh, na, yung ano, after surgery irritated yung heart niya na ano um, na puta siya sa AFib. So nilagyan siya, binigyan siya ng gamot uh, ilagay sa sa drip. So pero ngayon back to ano na siya. Back to normal uh, sinus rhythm, normal heart heart rhythm niya. Observe niya ata for 24 hours. And then I think uh, God willing, pwede na siyang ano, umuwi. Okay. Keep praying for her. Thank you all. Thank you all for your thoughts. Uh, for your thoughts and your prayers for the whole family, even to Annabelle also. Uh, uh, she's really doing well. Almost na almost healed na yung ano niya uh, yung sugat niya yeah. and then uh, twice a day na lang siya nag pain medicine and uh, uh, ano na uh, almost back to normal na siya kulang na lang uh, hindi pa siya ma hindi pa niya mabuhat si Karis so praise the lord thank you all also bro thank you for fight of ano you're carrying this you still uh, able to uh, join us last Thursday. Amen. Amen. Thank you for having me. Uh, it was a, uh, no, a blessing to be with you guys. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's uh, continue to pray for that. Uh, Sister Marcel, thank you very much. Let's, be, let's start to worship the Lord as... Uh, we come and uh, remember those who are in needs of prayer so that uh, we can uh, really uh, uh, connect with them in prayer. Hallelujah. Let's, let's, let's relax and uh, open your heart to the Lord as we come and worship Him. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Who breaks the power? Of sin and darkness, this love is mighty and so much stronger. The King of Glory, the King of Love, who shakes the ground with holy anger and takes us friendless in our wonder.
Let us prepare a moment for our transition. All right, so let's a little bit of relax as we go into uh, the process of our, by the way, happy 4th of July. So wish that uh, you guys celebrate uh, the Independence Day, amen. And uh, thank God for all those people who are really um, good in cooking, you know, but uh, there's a saying that um, everything is uh, good, but um, not everything is beneficial. Okay, when I say that one, it's like food. It comes to food is uh, is a lot of uh, lumpia, uh, uh, baguong. I know, no baguong Independence Day. Uh, tuyo, we call it tuyo in Tagalog, dried fish, and uh, some of these are more corn like. Pork belly, whatever you have. Lits and kawali, whatever you have. Uh, don't mention too much. Uh, maybe Sister Tessie is kind of uh, hungry right now. But Sister Tessie, wherever you are, we pray healing be upon you. Amen. And thank you guys uh, for you, for, for giving us food. Uh, the Lord knows who you are. Okay? I don't want to mention because uh, maybe somebody was like uh, initially, okay, uh, it's good that you bring us food, but uh, we need cash. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> food is good and uh, we enjoy and uh, thank you so much for your uh, uh, networking and generosity. So uh, God bless you in return, bless your heart, uh, especially for those who, whoever you are and the Lord knows, okay? So uh, thank you guys for doing that. Uh, uh, make us uh, work, make us move, all right? Thank you so much for that, amen. So I mentioned earlier that continue to pray also for uh, my sister's recovery uh, because uh, I, I heard that she's always uh, in the process. She, she, she's in the recovery of uh, healing, amen. Praise God, amen. So um, relax, and uh, we have in a transition in a few moments right now, and we are going to into a final live uh, uh, Facebook live in our service. Amen. Praise God. Amen.
Fourth of July, as I mentioned, again, um, join with me as uh, we are going to uh, do our responsive reading. And uh, God bless you all, guys. Uh, as you celebrate yesterday, we did uh, heard a lot of banging fireworks and stuff like that in the streets. But uh, thank you to God, we are safe. It looked like a lot of like fireworks and like like. Uh, you know, I never heard it before. So perhaps it is an expression of many people uh, of uh, freedom that they receive. Thank God for America. Thank God for the nations like America, hallelujah. I'm glad that I am uh, here in America. Uh, I join with them to celebrate the freedom that uh, we receive. It's not perfect, but yet still we have freedom. And um, join with me as we going to have this responsive reading today. I'm going to read and you guys respond together, okay? Hallelujah. You alone are God. May your name be praised. May it be exalted above all blessings and praise. You alone are the Lord. You made the skies and the heavens and all the stars. You made the earth and the seas and everything in them. Together, you preserve them all, and the angels of heaven worship you. Amen. Amen. Let's worship the Lord. Hallelujah. He is good. He is good above all. Your mercy never fails me. 
Good morning, everybody. Today I'm going to share my memory verse from Mark 11, 25 through 26. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive Neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. Amen. Thank you, Caleb. Brothers and sisters, whoever would like to uh, give their uh, or her tithes and offerings, uh, please Venmo it and Sister Merla will going to confirm as uh, they uh, confirm the receipt of your uh, tithes and offerings. Thank you for your uh, uh, service to the Lord. Pastor Ray. Thank you, Sister Marisol, for the reminder. Uh, thank God for you guys over there. And uh, if you are watching here live, God bless you and happy 4th of July, as I said. And uh, we enjoy the blessing of the Lord. Open your Bible with me in the book of John chapter 8. Uh, I mean, chapter, uh, yes, chapter 8. Did I see chapter 8? Yes, chapter 8. John, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's read it in John chapter 8 right now. Praise the Lord. John chapter 8, verse 31 to 36. So Jesus said to the Jews who had believed him, if you, are, if you abide in my word, you are truly disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. They answered him, we are offspring of Abraham and have never been enslaved to anyone. How is it that you say you will become free? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who practices sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not remain in the house forever. The son remains forever. So if the son sets you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you are offspring of Abraham, yet you seek to kill me because my word finds no place in you. I speak of what I have seen with my father, and you do what you have heard from your father. Amen. Bless the Lord's uh, word. Amen. Hallelujah. Again, uh, just uh, an expression to you guys. Uh, Thank you, Sister Marisol, for doing a good job. Praise God. Hallelujah. And um, just uh, uh, figured out that, um, you know, uh, as we grow and improve in our online uh, streaming, we are going to do, do some, a little bit of uh, uh, adjustment and things like that so that uh, we know that uh, you can see all my face and uh, stuff like that. I need uh, more attention, more uh, assistant over here while I'm speaking, please. Okay, make sure that I am, I will see people, in my, fa uh, my face, not my bald one, okay, but my face. Okay, so thank you, please uh, 
help me out technician please okay thank you so much okay very good well happy port once again and um, um, again as uh, sister Marisol mentioned about that and uh, many of you guys have celebrated uh, your um, uh, Independence Day and uh, we are free and uh, uh, in some ways you know and uh, God has blessed us in many areas of our life God bless America amen and uh, God bless uh, many nations amen if you could bless other people do not be critical when you say God bless so-and-so and then you, you don't want to bless people like uh, I don't like to curse but bless blessing is a happiness blessing is a good a form of a gesture and expression amen praise God so uh, thank you Jeremy thank you Verla for doing a good job and uh, for that yes okay very good thank you uh, my technician thank you so much thank you Jeremy all right and uh, uh, please uh, enjoy your your moment as we hear the message of the Lord amen Yesterday, uh, we really have uh, uh, many uh, fireworks, as I mentioned earlier, that uh, uh, sometimes my wife is really awakened in the middle of the night, and uh, we watch outside, and uh, I never went to uh, fireworks in many years uh, since uh, our children grown up, you know. When they were uh, probably uh, around 10 years old, we were faithfully attending some fireworks in uh, San Francisco and so on and uh, Alameda as well. And uh, wow, thank God um, the fireworks is over here in our backyard. <laughs> Whew. What a privilege uh, that we see some of this expression of freedom. Amen. So you also guys probably experience the type of freedom uh, that you may have maybe your children uh, experience freedom maybe you yourself experience the freedom as well well if we make history or review our histories that like America has been discovered I mean it was set free in, in other words uh, set free from uh, the uh, the Britain uh, 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 war in uh, July uh, July 4 1776 so in they declared an independence from um, England so one event was happened that uh, lead the formation of an independence so each year uh, our citizens our American uh, brothers and sisters of the land uh, celebrating this because of the liberation of independence so in other words uh, we are as America set free politically uh, in some areas of our life so are you not glad that uh, we are happy when you are set free or independence in other words when our children grown up uh, we discover here in American culture that 18 years old uh, children will kind of be happy because oh it's gonna be my independence day when I turn 18 is that right yes it's a common gesture of many kids in America but some cultures do not think that way because as they grow up um, especially in our values or our conservative values of like they rather stay at home until they get married or so and so even if they get married, can I ask a parent if I stay or home or something like parents home? Well, it's okay, but you know, it's a lot of uh, pressure or accountability to discuss with it. So sometimes it's good to be set free. Amen? It's good to be independent in the sense, okay? What I'm talking about is that uh, our freedom, uh, we need to uh, experience it ourselves, even in the land we have here in america we are free in many ways uh we are free with uh, our expression uh, but you're accountable with it you are free whatever you want to eat but you're accountable 
uh, to what you eat. There are things that uh, will harm you. There are uh, food that will uh, uh, increase your cholesterol, uh, high blood pressure, and uh, your gout, and everything yes. like that. What's that, Sister Merla? Uh-huh. Diabetes. Oh, diabetes. Okay. Like you hear that, uh, diabetes? Okay. So, it's not uh, free at all. Uh, uh, in other words, that uh, yes, we're free, but eat a little bit. There is accountability with it. So, brothers and sisters, we have a lot of free. Free things. Free coupons. Free. Uh, when people are doing some free stops, you know, there is a, uh, a story before. Uh, it is a, a story of uh, an unknown author that um, I want you to make love with this, that uh, there are different cultures who celebrated freedom. And uh, there is a barber shop opened uh, by an American. And they said that, uh, okay, it's open house. It's free. A barber, barber shop. And, and then uh, someone, uh, it's, a, it's a policeman came over and have a haircut. And then after the haircut, and then the policeman uh, wants to pay. But the owner said, refused, said, uh, oh, it's free. You know what? After that, uh, the man, uh, uh, the policeman uh, returned and then returned with a gift of something, a card. And another man came over and then uh, have a haircut and then the, the haircut is done. And then uh, what happened? And then uh, 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 the person wants to pay, uh, but the owner said, no, it's free. And then you know what? The following day, uh, the owner of the barbershop received a flower or flowers. And then there is a Filipino who came over to a barber house. And then uh, after the haircut is done, and then how much? And the owner of the house said, okay, it's free. You don't need to pay. Really? The Filipino said, oh, okay. And then, you know what? The following day, uh, you know what the, the owner received? A lot of Filipinos. <laughs> Filipinos love a lot of free stuff. <laughs> Everybody loves to free stuff. <laughs> Amen, amen. So that's a joke that like uh, sometimes freedom uh, we experience from other countries and sometimes uh, they don't experience this kind of free things or freedom that they experience, my uh, brothers and sisters. I'm going to ask a question. What makes us free? What makes you free in it? As we continue and diverted to the text that uh, our sister previously read in John chapter 8, that... Uh, Jesus mentioned here and defined uh, the ways in which each and everyone who believes in the Lord are set free indeed. If you are not set free, there, this is the message for you, brothers and sisters, today. What makes us free? May the Lord bless the reading of His Word. May the Lord capture the hearts, the jest, and the, uh, the direction of our thoughts. And the thoughts that God has intended uh, to be in line in our life to experience true freedom spiritually. Thank you, Lord, that you give us the freedom in Jesus' name. Amen. There are many ways. There are many uh, areas of our life that we have seen in the past. Well, uh, mention about uh, slavery. Mention about bondage. The Bible declares that. The Bible mentioned that about slaves and uh, uh, mentioned about uh, freedom, mentioned about masters. You know, uh, it is a culture. It was a culture in the past. Those, this, this culture, this idea has been taken from uh, a person who wants to uh, be a slave or a helper. They call it slaves. Uh, they call it helper. When there is a boss and there is someone who helped, Called it helper. I was a helper at the house. I am the one. I was the one who cooked. I was the one who cleaned up the house. Who, I was the one who, who feed a feed a pig uh, uh, every morning. You know, before going to uh, my high school class. So it's kind of be stressing. But I was really like a really a helper. Or call it slave of my master. 
But after that, uh, I was really graduated. And then uh, again, I'm still uh, like uh, wants to be a helper or they call it a boy. A boy meaning to say a person who helped the house, who cleaned the house, who maintained the house. And uh, I was that when I was in college. But there is something that a different kind, a different level of kind of a slavery, a slave of sin. Slave of sin. Can you hear me? Slave of sin. There are three things that will set us from that sin, that kind of sin. Because for the Bible declares, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. But the gift or the gift of God is eternal life and truth to our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus declared this. He said in verse uh, uh, 30, 32, okay, if you want to open that the Bible, and he said, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. And you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. Now, many people have truth in them. Many people like, uh, my truth is not your truth. Uh, maybe uh, you are true. Uh, in that sense but for me it's not this is what we call this relativism people adopt some of these uh, immoral values and adapt them or accept them or uh, like uh, uh, convince themselves that that is moral for them so the bible uh, has a defining truth about these things uh, the bible declares about what is moral is moral what is immoral immoral what is sin is sin what is holy is holy. So a defining line when we argue in this world system is like the Bible is the truth. Number one is that the truth will set you free. The truth will set you free. The truth will set you free and Jesus declared it clearly that who will set us free? It is the truth of God's word. He said here again, once again, and you will know the truth. And the truth will make you free. And how is that going to be happening to us as brothers and sisters in the Lord? He who believe in him. You need to believe in the truth or else you have that understanding of the truth. But you don't have a convincing power to uh, convince everybody about the truth. If you have the understanding, you cannot really convince unless that you are really convinced that that is the truth. The key word here is that those who believe in him. In verse 31, he said, Jesus said to the Jews who believe him. It is not enough just to understand who Jesus is, but to believe in his work as well. In him, that we believe that he died for our sins uh, so that all those who believe in him as a ransom, as a propitiation of that blood that he poured out at the cross of Calvary by the Father uh, to the uh, God uh, an instrument, uh, he sent his son and by that the lamb that was away the sins of the world that uh, really convinced us and see us ourselves that that is a confirmation that God set us free if you believe in him. Believing in him is not just uh, agreeing with our mind and thought like you says that i know it's it, it is because of what it says but you fully convinced to yourself personally that if you believe in him you will not die but you will have a life everlasting back to this verse another word that we can remember here if is the condition that the word here if you abide if the word condition if you what is the verb here that mentioned here what is a condition in order that we can find the truth in it? If you abide in my word. The word of God is inseparable of God's word, God's truth. The word of God is the truth that God is trying to reveal. In other words, if you might have a lot of many kinds of philosophies or politically uh, have an idea of things like uh, uh, some areas or or what we call this about the family matters or about any kind of relationship, brothers and sisters. The Bible declares the truth on how we uh, convene, how do we uh, attract ourselves, how do we experience life that leads us in the truth. 
the Bible declares it clearly that the Word of God is true. The Word of God is true and powerful that can change our life, that can change our, our understanding in the image of our Lord Jesus Christ. So therefore, brothers and sisters, the Word of God is truth. You will be set free by the truth of God's Word. He said, if you abide in my Word, you are really what? My disciple. In other words, uh, many people want to be a disciple of Christ, or the word disciple is that of followers. If you say you are a Christian, you can be a disciple, brothers and sisters. It's last, Christian disciple. Because if you're just like saying, like, uh, uh, I'm just a Christian, you are not just a normal Christian, but you are a follower, a disciple, a learner of our Lord Jesus Christ. A learner is going to train uh, himself in God's word, uh, in line with what, how we uh, ordain our life, how do we, uh, you know, uh, function our life as normal Christian believers in the Lord. Christian believers believe in the truth. Say so his word, uh, the word of Jesus said that if you abide in my word, you are my disciples in it. So what is the condition that become a disciple? If you abide in what? Instrumentality? The word of God and the word of God is truth. Amen. The word of God is truth. Hallelujah. Now the second part of our uh, text is that, um, well, um, Jesus Christ will set you free. Now, in the verse, the following verse, he mentioned about, and you shall know it, the truth, and the truth will, will make you free. So in that first uh, uh, point that I said, every one of us will be set free. The only thing that you're going to do, you're gonna have experience that is it. You shall know it, you shall abide in it, and you become a disciple. In that verse that I mentioned about that, you shall be free indeed, brothers and sisters. Second thing is that Jesus Christ will set us free in verse 33 to 36. It says here, they answered him, we are Abraham's descendant. So people, the Jews, some of them around him, are uh, uh, asking Jesus, Jesus, you know, we are uh, religious people. How can you know that we are set free? We are uh, uh, Abraham's lineage. We are Hebrew. And then uh, uh, why are you asking this kind of thing that we are not set free? We are Abraham's descendant and have never been in bondage or slavery or to anyone. In fact, uh, in that notion, if you read or the Bible in the Hebrew text, in Exodus, these people who try to declare the truth, they are not in truth. Because obviously, in history, they were slaves under the Egyptian rule, brothers and sisters. So slavery is also part of us. But Jesus giving a point here uh, in this text that he is not uh, mentioning about politics. He is not mentioning about kind of uh, uh, expression that we have in the land. But he's talking to one thing that Jesus came here to deliver us from the bondage of sin and death. You will be free if, brothers and sisters, that uh, is Jesus is in, in verse uh, 34, in that verse, uh, if you could uh, uh, go farther with the text in your Bible says here that uh, uh, um, uh, Jesus answered to them. Most assuredly, I say to you, whoever commits sin, what, what did Jesus say? Whoever what committed sin is a slave to sin. This is a picture that Jesus is trying to point it out. Not talking about political or things like that. No. He's talking about one thing. Mm -hmm. is a slave of our sin nature. If you are a slave, this is a declaration. This is a truth of the matter that Jesus is pointing it out. That many Jews, many people confuse about freedom. But there is something that enslave us because of this sin nature. I'm going to repeat it. Most assuredly I say unto you, Jesus said, 
Whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. And in verse 35 it says, And the slave does not abide in the house forever, but the son, son of God, but the son abides forever. Jesus made it a figurative speech that how can you be set free if you're a slave? So no one can set you free. Imagine if you are a household and then you will be slave forever. But if someone wants to set you free, you will be free indeed. And his name is Jesus. Jesus will set us free. Hallelujah. Jesus will set us free. How can every one of us will be free? Number one, we will be free by knowing the truth and believing in the truth. Second thing, by having Jesus Christ in your life, by believing also in Jesus Christ. Because it is inseparable, brothers and sisters, that if you know the truth, it is inseparable, you also believe in Jesus Christ. Amen? Abide in His Word. Abide in Him. Yield to Him. Number three is that if you have this uh, experience in your life that the Holy Spirit will set us free. The Holy Spirit will set us free in liberty. Amen. God has given us this advocate to set us free. He will lead us from uh, uh, our predicament of life uh, uh, to picture ourselves where we are from to wherever we can go set free. The Holy Spirit is our advocate. He is our friend indeed. If you can find in, uh, uh, the text in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, uh, perhaps it's not here indeed in here, chapter 3, verse 17 of 1 Corinthians. I'm going to read it here, okay, starting from verse 16. Um, Do you not know that you are the temple of God? And that the Spirit of God dwells in you. If anyone defiles the temple of God, God will destroy him, for the temple of God is holy, which temple you are. Brothers and sisters, the Holy Spirit is in us. He is also our advocate who will and can set us free indeed. Brothers and sisters, if I may ask you a question, what can set you free? What can set you free indeed? Is it our outward expression of freedom? Perhaps today that you might have some of your questions in life and seems like you are in bondage of many kinds of situation in life. But I'm going to challenge and pray that let us come to know the truth and he will guide us and he will set us free if you believe in him jesus by the power of the holy spirit who can help us who will teach us who can guide us who is our advocate to know the truth in our life come with me join with me in this agreement together lord you are our comforter in times of need. Lord, you are our guide to seek the truth. And you bring, you brought us your son, Jesus Christ. And we declare it through your word. As we read the truth of your word, O Lord God, it is alive, quick, and powerful that minister to our soul that will heal our slavery from the bondage of sin, that will set us free. Today, release us from any disruption that pursue peace. There are many people who are confused today. There are many people who are troubled. They are troubled in many likes and dislikes in this world but God today 
we declare your truth. Your word is truth. We come to the word of truth. We abide in the word of truth. We yield, we remain, we stand in the word of truth. Because you promise he did. He who had the Son had life. He who had the Son will set us free. If we have the Son of God, Jesus Christ, we are free indeed. Today, we declare our expression as we surrender our life unto you. We don't like to live in the slavery of sin anymore. Because Jesus declared it, and he has set us free. Join with me, brothers and sisters, to renounce anything that is not holy unto God. Leave it behind. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Lord God, we thank you that you sent your son to die at the cross. For those who believe in him will not perish, will not be condemned to death as a penalty of sin. But the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. As we parallel the truth of Independence Day in America, we put above all that our independence to be free from the slavery of sin in Christ Jesus set us free. Thank you, Lord, for the victory. Thank you, Lord, for your acceptance. Thank you, Lord, for your calling in our life from glory to glory. Live in our life that we will become more fruitful. Live in our heart. Live in our uh, future, live in our life as you have promised, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for you are resident in our life, as you have mentioned. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Happy independence to all of you who are set free today. Amen. My conclusion is that instead of uh, happy for America, now we declare the truth of our spiritual deliverance. Happy, set free, Independence Day of our life today. Today, if you receive the Lord Jesus Christ in your life, today, if you turn in your heart to God, this is your liberation day from slavery of sin. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you. Amen. And uh, I pray for a declaration. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord continue to shine upon you. May the Lord will lead you through the power of the Holy Spirit in your life today. Until we come back again. Glory be to God. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Blessing to you all. God bless you. If you have any prayer requests. Come and join. Amen. And uh, put your note in there and uh, we will pray for you during the week. Blessing to you. Thank you.
with every prayer that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. I will sing of the goodness of God. Good morning, everybody. Morning, Karis. Morning. Morning, Bebe. Hi, Bebe. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy baby. You're always happy. You're always smiling. <laughs> Hi, Aaron. Happy birthday, Aaron. Happy birthday, Aaron! Maka birthday ba kayo si Samad? Happy birthday, Samad! Happy birthday, Taya, you're on seventh grade now. Uh -huh. Seventh grade, nani? How about Andwell? Andwell, fifth. Oh, out. What is Andwell? Andwell. Okay, Lev. Then si Andwell, si Jaden, si Ante, si Jaden. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm turning eleven. Remember? Mm -hmm. September. Kailan birthday mo? Ano yan? Kailan birthday? My birthday? My birthday is September 14. Ah. September? Oh. September 14. Yeah. September 14. Skirt, skirt. Ano nang ginagawa ni Gali doon? Ano nang ginagawa ni Did you pee? Hi, Mommy! Hi, Mommy! Hi, Lola! Hi, Lola! No, 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 you cannot bring it here. Drop the balls. Come on, girl. Drop the balls. Hi! Without the ball. That ball is for outside. You have your own ball here. Hi, Sister Dina. Hi, Dina. Hello, Sister Danceline. Hi, Sister Dina. Hello, Sister Malu and family. Danja hello, family. everyone. And hello, the Rams family. Hi, Lola. Hi, Sister Marla. Hello, Sister Celia. Praise the Lord. No, no, no. Dan, mo la. <laughs> the Ryan. Uh, he can close, uh, he close the... Thank you, Brother Ryan. Close the... <laughs> uh, Yan na, wow. Nak nakita ko na yung beauty ni Lola. <laughs> Ayan, mas malinaw. Ang ganda. Happy birthday. 
Wala yatang uh, facilitator. Sino ba ang facilitator? Titingin na lang tayo dito hanggang, ano, hanggang magugutom tayo. Ano? Just look at other face. Say hello. Wala si, si Sister Tessie para mag... <laughs> Okay, I want to go to Livermore. For what? Yeah. Your time, guys. Kumusta na kayong lahat? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Brother Ryan. <laughs> Okay kami, masaya kami kagabi, masaya ako kagabi, napakaraming fireworks. <laughs> Ayun no. Dahil ay bawal. <laughs> Oo nga. Hanggang hanggang madaling araw. Hindi ba natakot si Jack? Takot na takot nga eh. Yeah. Natakot si ano, si Kali, natakot rin. Kaon lang kahol. <laughs> Ito naman ang dito ako, kahol eh, pero natatakot. Kali, ako uh, eh, si Kali. La, kumusta ka na? Buti naman, thank you Lord. Mabigat lang, mabigat. <laughs> Alin na mabigat lang? Ano dito ko ba? Pag matayo ko, mabigat ang mga binti ko. Eh, oh. Ano? Mabigat na noise lang. Pumupunta ba kayo sa ano nyo, clinic? Ay, Ay hindi pa. Ay, hindi pa ba? Okay. Hindi pa pwede. Hindi pa. Alam na bola. Padalhan lang kami ng pagkain. May polis, may bis burnis. Tapos, padalhan ko sa mga pain. Ko, ko pastor. Oh, that's nice. Marapis. Aha. Mag-exercise. Pagkatapos exercise, bingo. Ang bingo namin, Marcus, Mercurius, check out. Bernes. Oh. <laughs> 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 Naka-mute ka, Sister Dina. Ayan, unmute, unmute ko. Sa si Maring Agnes. Ay, yung kahapon, na uh, punta kami sa Alameda. Nung kami nag uh, 4th of July kinanelya sa backyard nila. Wala. Hindi namin, ano, limited lang ang taong nagpunta kasi, alam mo na, if you are no more than 10 people sa isang party, di ba? Okay naman, ma-press ko dun sa ilal. Malaki yung backyard nila, ma maraming mapresko dahil ma maraming ano, maraming puno, mga fruit trees nila. Parang hakang nasa gubat. Pero at least na kayo, noon lang namin ginawa ng 4th of July yun. Usually, di ba every year yung Alameda may parade. Noon kami na noon, ngayon wala silang parade. So, sa backyard kami this year. Pero minta lang namin ginawa yung nasa ilalim kami ng mga puno sa backyard ni Nanelia. Medyo mas malamig. Hindi masyadong mainit. Nag, Exciting. Uh, ha? Exciting. <laughs> Oo nga. Iba, iba. Sabi nga, yung una, hindi kami magkakasundo. Gusto ni Nanelia <laughs> sa loob na lang ng bahay kasi. Pero nung natry namin, nagka, ano sila kasi yung Korean barbecue, yung parang may plate. Sa, uh, oh. in, sa gitna nung... Pero pa sa barbecuing, meron yung pamangkin ko nag... Ano siya yung parang Korean barbecue, nag, nagluluto sila doon. So, ma, kung ano sa loob ng bahay, hindi, medyo hindi, hindi advisable na gawin sa loob ng bahay. Kasi baka mausok or something, mag ano yung alarm. Uh -huh. So, ginawa na lang namin sa backyard sa may mga shade. Which is na, enjoy naman kami. Tsaka parang nag-picnic yung ibang pagkain na sa nag -ano sila ng mat. Yung pamangking ko, si Danesa dumating galing LA. Kasi siya doon siya 
may mga dentist appointment daw siya dito sa Alameda. And then, uh, pwede naman siya mag-work sa, ano, sa bahay. So, para makita din namin siya kasi bihira lang kami magkita-kita ng bata. Mm-hmm. So, babalik din siya ng LA ng Friday yata ng gabi. And then, ata, mag-start na rin siya magtrabaho sa ata sa opisina. So, nag-take advantage siya na hanggat pwede siya magtrabaho sa bahay, umuwi muna dito. Tsaka yung mga appointments niya. Mm. Uh, so, kung ma- maayos, maayos yung ano. Nag- yung pamangking ko naman, nephew ko, dito siya nagluto. Dinala namin doon. Yung ibang pagkain, luto na. Then... Pare or solo? Asawa ni Kumusta na siya? Ha? Si Pare or solo? Okay naman siya. Okay naman siya, oo. Oo. Hindi, hindi siya masyadong hindi nainip, nag ano lang, kwento-kwento sa, and then, nung medyo napagod, pumasok sa lumbahay at na, nakatulog sa sopa, and then, mga 4 o'clock yata, umalis na rin kami, 4, 4.30, para makapahinga yung mga, 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 yun, yung mga may may bahay and everything. Yeah, Nili- nililimit din kasi yung, ano, yung oras namin na, as much as possible ayaw namin mag- mahaba yung ano kang hangga't may ano pa di ba yung pandemic. Mhm. Uh-huh. Yun, limit namin yung hour ng time ng party. So, nag-start kami ba ng 12 then yung pamangkin ko umalis na nang 3 and then kami mga 4:30 umalis na rin kami. And then nag-start na yung ano yung fireworks. Maaga so, nag-start. Na, so never that sabi nga ni Pastor Ray, 33 years na kami dito nun lang. At saka ano, days before pa, nag, na, ano na dito eh, naririnig ko na yung mga mga, mga, mga na, eh. crackers. So, next, sabi naman ng nephew ko, so, Louis, is this legal? It's not legal, pero it's, um, ang, 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 ano niya, it's defying yung, ano, na mga law enforcement, yung mga police, alam mo yun? Mm-hmm. Di, diba, may, ano, ngayon, mas, masela ng, So, you, you, they cannot do anything. It's illegal. Kung lahat nagpo-fireworks, hindi nila mauhuli lahat yun. I that's think yun ang ano niya, analysis niya. Sabi ko, that's almost every day. And then, uh, almost magdamag. And then, yeah. then it's ano naman. Naka, di ba sa atin sa Pilipinas, mag, maghapon, iba, mas uh, delikado pa nga yung mga na dun eh. Natandaan mm-hmm. ko, kapatid ko, naputokan ng bawang sa hands niya so sa medyo sa atin marami yung di ba sa mga pag new year marami yung nag-accidente because hindi nag very ano kasi lenient sila sa baka fireworks sa power ah pastor ano si baka maraming mga uh, bisita doon sa hospital ngayon isa pa dito oo nga yun lang nakaka, pero masaya, no? Pero, mo pero yung iba sky. doon, hindi na fireworks. I think it's some of them, ano na, gunfire. Oo, may mga gunfire sa so, mga, uh, dahil nga, uh, parang, they trying to, ano, in, um, defying the law enforcement na, parang, rebellion at the same time, mm-hmm. rebellion na, eh, if we, everybody's having firecrackers or fireworks, paano, ang polis naman, di naman nila mahuhuli lahat yan. Di mapupunoy mga jail in Santa Rita. Di man naman, lalo na nag-watch din sila ng, ng ano, yung limit, nililimit din nila yung mga jail dahil sa nga sa pandemic eh. Paano ipapasok mo lahat yan? Hindi magkakaroon na rin ng ano sa jail, sa mga jail. Yeah, Sister Dina. Uh, Kapas to? Uh, mm. Yes, yung ginawa ng mga polis na hindi nila huhuli yan kasi wala. Oo ang pondo doon eh, paghuli sa mga pag- nagpaputok. Huli lang nila yung pag may namatay. <laughs> <laughs> Oo, oh, Pastor. Oh. Pero at least mas mas safe yung mga fireworks nila atin dito, ano, Pastor? Compare mo sa Pilipinas. Yes. Kasi sa atin, mga, may mga dangerous tulad ng mga bawang ba? Yung lalaki, ang lalaki ng mga fire, fire, firecrackers and fireworks nila doon. At least dito, they're trying to be safe. I, Pero I, I think... 
I just uh, the one that I heard yesterday. Sabog ang bahay pag butak ni ko. Parang bay boom. Yeah, dito mismo ang harap backyard namin. Sabi ko, very close ang bahay niya sa sa fence. Pero nagpo fireworks pa rin siya. Pero hindi man mahinga, hindi nila manon lahat naman ng polis yung mga lahat. Kasi dito sa likod, sa harap, sabay-sabay. Kahit makikita mo rin sa San Leandro Hills, saka Oakland Hills. <laughs> I have a ball. Can I say something to Andwell? Andwell, I like your uh, song. Oh, yeah. It's really nice. No, I, love, I like it too. Yeah. <clears throat> I love the message too. Mm -hmm. ba? Yung anybody, you're nobody. Yeah. And you're telling everybody about somebody. And that's Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. That's really nice. And you know, we have a purpose in God. It's true, right, and well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really nice. I love it. Ilang araw mong ino no practice. Oh, you're muted. Do it again. Repeat. You're gonna sing again? How many days did you practice? How many days? Yeah. Oh, um, five. Five, five days? days? Wow. Five times. Five, five times. times. Oh, not five. <laughs> you like casting five. crowns? You like the group casting crowns? A pop. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's me. Yeah. You are. And your, your Tagalog is clearer than my daughter, Liana. <laughs> uh, Opa. I've seen them in person in their concert. Really? Oh, you did? Wow. Oh. That's nice. No, my. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Where where was the concert? In San Jose. Oh, San uh, Jose. Was it last year? Or yeah, last year. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, they're good. Nice. They're good. Uh, they have a lot of other popular songs also. Yeah. Oh. Are you gonna do it again next week? Yeah. Marami pa silang ibang songs na ano eh, na they become so popular na. Yung mga mm -hmm. songs nila this, lately nag so popular na yung Casting Crowns. Yeah. Sister Celia, may kakausapin, kakausapin ka ni Sister Celia mamaya. Okay. okay. Anong oras? Alis <laughs> ako. <laughs> <laughs> Ano lang, nag-check lang ako ng attendance. Oh, okay. Hindi ma-disrupt yung communication, kaya ano. How's the, Malu, I believe that you guys are on call right now, ha? Dahil maka-busy ang inyong hospital. Is there, was there any emergencies, a lot of emergencies in your hospital? Aside from COVID, ha? Or yung uh, resulta ng mga paputok, whatever is that, you know. Hopefully, yeah. Okay. Mr. Maricel, happy birthday again. Yeah, happy birthday, Maricel. Thank you. Thank you sa inyo. Pabataan, pabata. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just turned 17 yesterday. <laughs> Last 30. <laughs> Last 30. Last 30. Last 30. 47. <laughs> Sabi ng mga ano ko, Mom, you're old. Meron daw mag-ahay sa inyo. Oh. 
from oh si mommy si ate tesi hi sister tesi hi sister tesi hello sister tesi we're praying for you get well we miss you sis soon miss you <laughs> hello the aunt is waving at you too <laughs> Good prayers. Get well. Amen. Lord. Amen. Thank you, Excuse me. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, very good. And um, uh, meron akong uh, uh, good, good thing. So thank God for those who uh, prepared the program and we were getting uh, better and better. Yeah, Pastor, not, not organized. Mas organized na. Mas... So we're organized, but eventually uh, next time ang ating uh, a goal is that uh, magiging ano tayo sa time, yung time. If we organize the time, then we can go all live together. Okay? Yeah. So at this point of time, hatiin po natin yung service uh, ng dalawa at this point of time. And uh, we can a little bit adjust with our program because there are programs that like uh, I need to insert here. If our program is presented earlier and then we can oh. find it better earlier. So uh, if not, then uh, we can adjust the uh, panel a little bit. And thank God for those people who came early uh, so that we can manage time, who, especially for the panelists, for the panelists who will speak it up, uh, we're going to come earlier than other people. Yeah. And thank God for the sound. Uh, I think it's better. There's a little bit of something, but uh, it will, I will identify it lately, but uh, in general, it's not. Thank God for Brother Ryan for helping us uh, getting better. And uh, we will inform you guys uh, for the next update for our event uh, so far. Uh, Thursdays and uh, whoever the panelists will be, you know. And uh, uh, we are, uh, we appreciate those people who help around. Okay. So among our members, let us be... Uh, an instrument. Maybe sometimes uh, Sister Dina become our panelist in our Thursday or whoever members of our church, mga young people or mga adults. Uh, it, there's no pressure, but just your presence is important. We will not ask you a difficult question that you cannot answer. All right? So, mm -hmm. parang entry level po itong ating mga ministry. Na you don't need to pressure yourself. Na basta you are kind of attached. And we will see you please once in a while. You know. And uh, kasi po ang ganito. Na in order na magiging stage. Ano ba tawag mo? Stage. Fright. Stage fright. Yung ating uh, presence. We need to kind of hands on a little bit. That is Jeremy na hiya mag-present herself. Now it's, it's getting better. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Uh, look at her face. <laughs> Amen. Happy birthday din para Jeremy. Jeremy. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Is, is, is Malcolm also there? And uh, we, we greet you guys. A happy birthday. And, uh, Hi, Jeremy. Hello. <laughs> I thank you for all the birthday wishes and greetings. Thank you. You're welcome. Quarter of a century now. Twenty-five. Uh, uh, Twenty-five, uh, 25 uh, ka? Bata mo yeah. pa, no? Still... Twenty-five years old. Ako nga, oh, almost Same. half a century. Same as, Same as Danessa. She, she will be 25 also in my niece, Francesca. And uh, both of you are... You're in the same year, same but no, different month, July, August, and Nancy, uh, Francesca, September, the next is August, so one year, one month older. 
Thank you, Jeremiah. When they were young, Sister Dina, uh, we yeah. the house, uh, they play each other. Yeah, uh, and I have that picture, Pastor. Silang tatlo naka, ano lang, naka puting pant, naka pant, la, parang underwear lang yata, baby pa naman sila eh. Naka puting, ano si Jeremy, the shirt, and then naka puting we want to see puting some shorts, and then gan. Ano nakapulat sila doon sa car seat nila silang tatlo. <laughs> Those are the old old days, huh? Yeah. Nasa ano pa kami sa apartment pa sa Alameda noon. Amen. Very good, very good. Happy birthday. What is your wish, Jeremy? <laughs> Lord, um, yeah, just have success. I that's my wish. Uh, do you want to give a testimony, a praise report of what the Lord has done in your <laughs> Okay, Leon has a new room now. Uh, it's uh, renovated, so uh, okay. we're going to say something oh, to God. You know no, he's going to switch the... No, this was clear. You want... Okay, fine. Um, what have I done? Okay, so my room is updated. Um, my dad's office. I didn't have a room because my family moved here when I was still in college, so... I didn't have, I barely had a bed when I first got here. Um, no, 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 I'm already here. No, you're not spotlighted. Hey, Leon. I thought you were gonna show her room. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> okay, um, again, again? Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I'm really shiny. Anyways. <laughs> Oily bunny skin, mo parang. Yeah, it's hot. It's really hot in here. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So I didn't have a room when I first got here, and I came back home three months earlier. Are you expected. Um, yeah. So it took me a while to figure out how I was going to make. Ah. Uh, I knew it went to the entrance. Oh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, yeah. Um, yeah. So, this is what I done. We turned my back to my room, and it took a lot. Yeah. But with it being quarantine, I had a lot of time. Um, yeah. So, I have a bed now. <laughs> my case report. Yeah. You have recovered a lot of many uh, things in your life. So praise the Lord. Amen. Yeah. So step by step, and the Lord is uh, faithful. Amen. How's the kids, uh, sister and uh, sister uh, Cecilia? Uh, how are you guys, kids? Uh, hopefully, it's the, uh, this means how fast you can kind of... Okay, naman kami, Pastor. Good, very good. Yeah, we're uh, having a sideline. Like the door dash can be. Oh. Parang door dash ba yung deliver? Nang de deliver ng mga. Yeah, we're door dashers. Okay. Pero ada yung food ni lulu tung moren non. Hindi. Si Lena ko order. Tapos si. Oh. You just have they will and I'll give you. You know a message na pick up the food and this. Yeah. Sa Anman, restaurants, and then you deliver it from somewhere. Oh, hindi na Alameda ka, Alameda County. O ano meron, lang, uh, yeah, pero ano, Castro Valley, Hayward, and San Leandro. Oh, mas mala, ma, ano, hindi masyadong malayo. Hindi. Mm -hmm. hindi it's nang, just fun. It's exciting. Yeah. Yung Paano pensa ko dati. Mali ang, mali ang order, yung kulang ang na-order. Paano gagawin? Libre na That's yun. why you need to check it. Meron silang list. And then oh. it will tell you, check mo muna. Pagka nandun lahat, 
it you check mo tapos then you go to so I mean, proceed to your delivery uh, but you have to communicate with them kung malili kasi minsan oh, yeah. ang, ang mga restaurants dahil maraming tao yeah so you have to let them know and then you can also reject yung mga i-deliver kung malayo sa yo Mm-hmm. Before, pag binigay sa sa'yo yung ano ng number na, oh, ito, dito mo i-deliver, meron kung saan mo i-deliver. So, you, re- you can reject it kung malayo. We we delivered sa Marina, yung siguro yung pinakamalayo. Lagpas ng Marina. Mm-hmm. Marina, San Leandro, Marina, Berkeley, Marina? Yeah, doon. So, malapit sa Marina Fair. So, halimbawa, maraming reject- rejection, hindi ka naman na ano ng door touch or na pagka marami kang rejection, na ano, na ano. They will, they're grading you. Oh, may rating. Oo, uh, may ano, may yung, kunyari, uh, I think five below five, parang meron kang marireceive sa kanila eh. Pero mm. every time siguro na pag kunyari binibigay na sa DoorDash yung delivery mm. na mm. doon sa app nila, iya ano ka, i-grade ka nila. Mm. Okay, i-grade nila yung punctuality mo, kung on time mm. ba yung delivery ng ano mo, food mo, or mm. your date. And then, mm. uh, and then ang kagandahan kasi meron silang mga promo, may time na peak time, may additional yon now, now you may realize, di ba pag tayo nag-order, we thought na, oh, meron naman silang, nag-earn naman sila ng pera for doing that. But yun, yun pala yung sinasabi na, that's why they're suggesting, pag mag-order kayo, you give some tips. Kasi mm-hmm. yung, yung effort talaga nung nag-deliver, it's not easy. Yeah. Kasi yung merong iba, di ba, ayaw nilang mag-tip. Oh, kasi may sweldo na. Ang base pay pa lang lang noon is $3 only. Tapos kung matipan ka, doon ka lang nag-earn ng malaki. Pero if you're not earning, if no one will will tip, wala kang makukuha. I mean $3 lang, which is not bad. Kung marami ka namang maano, eh kung ma-traffic, konti lang yeah. mag-deliveran mo. Yun ang learning ko na Wow. Uh, yung parang we should really appreciate din yung mga drivers na nagde-deliver ng food sa atin. They're really sacrificing too kasi they're really also uh, essential workers. Yeah. You know, they're, they're um yun yung pero ang isa pang parang binigay na ano sa akin ni Lord dito is marami pa lang paraan para mag-earn ng pera. Yung parang God has given us all the resources. Yeah. Nasa atin lang kung paano natin gagamitin yon. I mean, you know, kasi marami nagsasabi, uh, di ba yung mga jobless, right now, maraming jobless. Pero kung gusto pala nilang kumita ng pera, hindi naman sila magiging jobless kagaya nito. Kung gagawin nilang full-time, they can earn money up to like 200 per 8 hours. Which, mm-hmm. Per, per oh, day yun. Okay. So it's like you're earning more than the minimum. Yeah. Kung magsisipag lang talaga. So, hindi, hindi talagang ang Panginoon, napakabuti kasi, He's giving us all the, ano, yung ways. Yung He's always finding ways for us. to Yung para hindi tayo sinasabi natin na, oh, wala na. Kasi nga, because of the pandemic, because of the situation, na maraming hmm? naglo-loss ng trabaho, o maraming oh. na business na nagsasara. Pero, sabi rin, di ba, yung parang uh, support your yung community support the small businesses and then also support yung mga essential workers and then also yun nga meron pa lang meron pa lang paraan hindi pala tayo magugutom kung tayo kakilos lang yeah uh, yung parang may 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 purpose lahat talaga yeah which is, which is really good yeah Pero, pero ano, ano pa rin, kasi before nung ano, pandemic, di ba, hindi ba masyong, meron na-introduce na yung pag-deliver, pero hindi in the as, as much as busier ngayon dahil nga yung mga restaurant may limited pa yung mag ano, sa loob. So, prefer lang ako lately. lately pero ano, yung iba, sarado naman yung restaurants nila, nandun pa lang yung, meron silang ano. Sa pick-up, may pick-up. Yung barrier lang, oo. 
Yeah. Tapos ili- iiwan mo lang yung pagkain dun sa either sa driveway nila or sa pinto. You don't need oh, to see oh. them in person. Yeah. At saka so, yung mahirap, yung pag may aso yung bahay. Oh, hindi yes, naman, sila hindi naman. naman. Hindi Kasi naman yung pain. May app sila eh. Mal- malalaman nila pag malapit ka na. Oh, so oh. some of them, sinasalubong na. Sa- oh, oh. Naghihintay na oh, sa labas. Oh, oh. So be, be aware na that dito ka lang pag ka pumasok kasi nga may yung baka may uh, pag ano sa inyo. Yes. Saka may instruction sila kung anong gagawin mo kung sabihin nila na oh just leave it, you don't need to do doorbell or gano'n, yeah. ring a doorbell, gano'n. May, may, ano, yung parang may communication. Oo. Yeah, para ma-avoid din yung anong yun. That's good. Yeah, it's exciting. Kasama ko si Chelsea. Nag-ano kami. Para siyang taga-guide ko. Chelsea, where's your dog? Naka siya yung nag-drive sa akin. kami. Kasi sabi niya na nasira kasi yung glasses niya ng aso. So, so this is the way of earning money para makabili kami ng glasses niya. Yung glasses niya, oo. Yeah. Chelsea, come here. That's what I thought. I thought that was going to be the dog. He wants to see. He wants to see the dog. Okay. Yeah. Ano pangalan ng dog? Charlie. 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 Uh, Hindi siya masyado makakita kasi nga ng tirain glasses niya. Oh. Kaya nag nag school siya. I have contacts. Oh. Yeah. But I was so sure. So, nagiging driver na. Uh-huh. Oh. The freight guard. Ilan taon na siya? Ilan taon na siya? 16 next month. 16? Aha, uh-huh. but she has oh, a permit high school now. Na. So, two years na lang, may college ka na. Sa awa ng Diyo. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Boy. Boy. Hey, boy. No, I don't. Hey, lang memory verse. Boy, when is your memory verse? Naki-sister, eh, Maricel lang, ano. <laughs> Siya magsasabi. Sister Maricel, uh, I mean, Sister Cecilia, your, your, your ideas and experience is very good about that uh, kind of business, new thing. And uh, it kind of reminded other people about those who lost job. And, uh, yeah, it's an encouraging group. Yeah. Very, very good. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah. Pumapasok ba kayo, Pastor, and Sister Merla? Oh, yeah. Dito lang ako sa, ano, sa habahay. Oh, work from home. Oh, that's nice. Pareho kayo? No. Ako pumapasok. <clears throat> ah. Kasi yung classing work na aming ano. Uh, hindi pwedeng work from home. Hindi pwede dalhin sa labas. Mm-hmm. Pastor, yung schedule ng shuttle, ano pa rin? Yung the same schedule pa rin yung shuttle pag nag-shuttle ka na. Yes, yes. Mabalik oh, na. Kasi minsan natatakot ako baka kung wala akong ride. Nandun pa rin yung shuttle natin doon, no? Yes. Uh, what you okay. can do if you ride with that, sabi mo na kagad, uh, please pick me up on that same ano, anong oras yung ano, and uh, they will uh, kind of schedule that one. Yeah, kasi nakuha ko yung, yung schedule ng, ng ano, so they they kept the same schedule o binago na yung may pagbabago na ba? Um, I'm not sure sis, but uh, yeah, what I can ano, if you try to make a gesture that uh, guys, uh, I, I will be here uh, five o'clock waiting for you. So, uh, oh, so that you will, uh, uh, you will be route, uh, they will route over that place. Yeah, or not, yeah. or not, sis. Uh, mm. yung regular nila, instead na uh, iikot sa ating building, okay, mm. ka mag wave ng kamay. Yeah, uh, hindi ka na hintuan. So they can stop anywhere. When you oh, they can stop anywhere now? So you can, because usually, the stop natin, sa harap natin, 
and doon doon sa social services sa may enterprise and then bike station na yeah so uh, dito ka lang lalapit banda sa gate kasi pag doon sa federal ay baka hindi ka hintuan kasi uh, ang county ano ya <laughs> county road ng land so that oh, oh. Ng, ano, Pero yung stop natin doon sa palinsarap ng county, hindi sa amin, doon yes, sa may state. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Para as if like, oh, galing ka sa county building. So, yun. Mm -hmm. Sinasakay naman lahat. Uh, Oo. Oh, oh. Pero meron silang uh, talagang spot area na doon sila. Yeah. So, Sister Cecilia, nandito lang ako sa bahay. I mean, nandito sa bahay. Pumapasok ako. At uh, ano, uh, regular work and that, uh, that is good, uh, still uh, days. over there and uh, until uh, God retire me or what. <laughs> <laughs> so God is still faithful sis and uh, ano lang, uh, we just be faithful in the Lord that we have. Uh, right now, I think uh, papagandahin natin yung ministry natin sa online uh, dahil uh, yung the quality or a quantity of people na mag-absorb dito ay hindi tayo pwede mag-violate tayo sa rules and therefore uh, in this uh, online streaming uh, mapapaganda yung ating uh, communication and the way our service uh, mapapaganda din uh, we, we will, you will enjoy you will enjoy really so this is a moment that God uh, designed for our uh, church, our church. Okay, ang ibang church sa uh, iba ang kanilang set up. But for us, we are here in this uh, kind of uh, uh, streaming. Uh -huh. So let's expect uh, way ahead uh, God's uh, blessing, uh, improvement, development, you know. Uh, now every one of us will be uh, used by God. So ang aking suggest kay Brother Marlon to prepare the calendar. So that we can train everybody how to present themselves in an online or in a, in a video so that maging smooth yung ating takbo. Amen. So that's good. Amen. Amen. Ipag natin yung ating mga anak, all our children, you know, na magiging participant. Kasi ang mga matatanda, challenging sa atin. Amen. Ay lang, sa atin. At uh, challenging doon sa mga seniors pero okay okay lang tayo <laughs> in our level mga bata mga magagaling mabibilis so let's use them in that way to honor God in that uh, opportunity so praise God amen amen now sister Merla you have something to say I think uh, it's your turn with sister Cecilia uh, hindi nag-check lang ako sister yeah, talk to her talk to sister her. yes Chicheck lang ako ng attendance. <laughs> so, yun lang. Uh, kumusta naman yung si ano, yung Grace and Imelda? Uh, kasama mo sa work yun? Si Ate Grace ya yung bumisita na yun sa atin, di ba? Yes. Yung kasama ko, taga Tracy. From Tracy. Yun ni Grace Alberto. Okay, Grace. Uh -huh. Ate Grace Lansangan. Uh -huh. uh, she might have a surgery kasi of uh, it will be, hindi pa naman confirmed, pero sabi daw ng doctor, she might have a cancer. So, she's gonna go through uh, surgery kasi nagbi-bleed siya after na ng menopause. After mag-menopause siya, tapos nag-heavy bleed. So, that's why, para hindi mag-stop siguro yung bleeding, she needs to go under surgery. Yung si Ate Melda, nakasamahan ko rin, she had the same problem. Pero ngayon, nag re na siya. She just finished chemo. So ngayon naman, radiation for, I think, 21 days, every day. So yung nga, uh, uh, by the grace of God naman, sabi niya okay naman siya. So ang prayer niya lang is after ng radiation, kasi doon yata nagkakaroon ng side effect na hopefully wala naman siya maramdamang side effect and then she can come back to work ng August 7. Kasama mo sa work? Pa oo, pareho sila. Si Ate Imelda, she's like my assistant now. Uh, and I think si Jeremy, she knows her. She yung aming CNA. She was there for, ano na siya, matagal na siya sa board. Kaya lang nga na diagnose siya ng uterine cancer. Yeah, we to uh, Sister Cecilia as uh, 
Ice Boss. Ice Boss. Thank you. You're uh, interceding in behalf of your uh, uh, staff. The Lord be you. Yeah. Thank you. I think that's my God's ano, calling. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Yeah. Lord. As an instrument. Yes. Yeah, and I'm I'm really grateful to God because nga yung mga kapatid ko talagang unti-unti every every week. We just had a prayer last night. Okay. And uh yung isa sa mga prayer ng kapatid ko it's about yung harmony sa bahay yung among mga members ng family na sometimes nga may disagreement mayroon hindi nagkakaisa. And then, it's like we were having the same thing, you know, parang disagreement here. Yeah. And then, yung parang uh, God, God touched me or uh, said something to me na yung ikaw na anak ng Diyos, dapat ikaw yung magpakumbaba. You know, uh, kasi hindi naman lahat magpapakumbaba. Parang, syempre, di ba, eh, minsan ginagamit yun ng kalaban na ang pride natin, sinasabi ng kalawa, oh, wag ikaw ang pakumbaba, wag ikaw ang umano, yaw mo siya, gano'n, gano'n, para matuto. But then, you know, parang na-realize ko, hindi eh, anak ni Lord eh. So, ikaw ang magpakumbaba, baka yun ang hinihintay lang, di ba? Minsan, mm. naghihintayan kayo, pero kung walang mag, wag, mag-uumpisa, walang mag-i-initiate, walang, hindi, walang, kumbaga, parang, hindi matatapos yung gulo. Eh, eh yun lang pala ang hinihintay, yung, yun nga, sabi ko nga, yung prayer ko, hindi yung hindi ko pinipray yung taong lipuin siya, kundi ako ang lipuin para lawakan yung pangunawa ko at saka yung pasensya ko. Kasi God had given us those situations para for us to learn something about it. Hindi para lang, you know, yun, yung, yun lang iniisip ko. Na sabi ko, meron lang talagang ganito, hindi naman lahat perfect ang pagsasama, hindi perfect ang relationship niyo sa bawat isa. Pero yung dumarating ang ganong pagkakataon, we just have to think of a positive thing na God is teaching me something about this. And then we just have to pray na hindi lang puro patience, di ba? Kasi pa, kung ang hihingin natin, yung bibigay sa atin ni Lord, yung situation yes. para may increase yung patience natin. Hindi lang basta increase yung patience natin. Parang He'll let us go through with this situation para doon natin maano yung patience na hinihingi natin kay Lord. Amen. Sister Celia, I think we will have a a subject about that uh, one of the su- Thursday uh, meeting <laughs> someday. Huh? Uh-huh. You, you, you're, that is a good uh, message to family like, uh, because wow. ito yung mga experience na ipinapakita ng Panginoon para out of those ay matutunan ng bawat isa how to maneuver their lives. Yeah. Uh, really, uh, an example for this as well. Uh, na tayo ay uh, pwede natin i-join yung ibang mga tao at the same experience as you. Na always, uh, parang practical things on how you overcome as a difference in Christ. Uh, one of these days, uh, brother, uh, let's talk about this kind of family thing. Something like that. Thank you. And uh, if you're open to that, uh, maybe uh, next month or next two weeks after that, uh, we, we're going to prepare in a simple thing. I okay. See, a practical uh, kind of sharing. Right? Yeah. Good, good thing. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. That's good. Yeah. It's really tough, Pastor, di ba? Kasi yung mga pinagdadaan natin. And I think it's affecting us kasi nga yung COVID. Oh. It, We we just don't realize it, but it's affecting us. Because we're hearing things from the news, from different people. But we're not. I'm not saying that you listen to them. Pero uh, hindi mo lang alam sub- subconsciously, we are affect we are affected. And then even at work, I re- I, I noticed that. Sabi ko nga, marami ako napapansit na pagbabago. And then I'm 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 thinking that it's because of this. Kaya nga dapat sabi ko bakit tayo ang nagbibigay ng problema sa sarili natin kasi we're making things complicated. It's already complicated out there. Bakit kailangan dalhin sa work at sa bahay yung mga complication? Pero nga, yun nga, uh, out of this, yung mga situations na pinagdadaanan, we have to learn something from. Kasi hindi ibibigay yan sa'yo ni Lord ng walang ano eh, wala kang matututunan. Kailangan, 
it's just that you have to ask God for wisdom. Yeah. Kasi sometimes, because nga of pride, we won't see those things. <laughs> hindi natin makikita. Ako nung mga first few days, parang hindi ko nakikita kasi yung pride, yung parang ginagamit ni ng kalaban na, oh no, let them learn their lesson. Oh, don't don't do anything. Parang ganun. Pagod, parang, pagod na ako yung umintindi. Pero then later on, you get convicted out of it na hindi eh, hindi dapat napapagod. Although napapagod, na talaga namang physically, we get tired. And then we're just human. But then, God will still touch you and say na hindi ganyan ang ano, 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 ano ayan ang purpose ko sa'yo, hindi ganyan, di ba? And then, doon, bibigyan ka ng wisdom ni Lord para ma-realize mo. Amen. Na, so yung pala yun. Go for it, sister. Amen. Marirestore yung ating mga women's, uh, ano? Women's <laughs> ministry. Hallelujah. Mga, ano? Uh, Ikaw naman, Sister Merla. How do you overcome some people? Uh, talagang, I, I, I really admit na, the whole world is affected. Each individual is affected in different ways, in different areas. But, um, I know God is, um, purpose in this situation for our good, for our uh, change, in our comfort zone, in our lifestyle. At, um, I overcame this situation. Uh, it affects me emotionally, uh, spiritually. Mm -hmm. Speaking of it, uh, financially, we're still uh, working. So, uh, at least we're okay financially by the provision of God, but uh, it really affects me uh, emotionally and mentally, and it affects my spiritual life also. But I learned to uh, really trust in the Lord. Uh, he's changing me. He's changing my, uh, Hi. my attitude. Arthur. Arthur. Uh, the slipper. Life. Mama Slipper. And teaching me. Uh, so I overcame this by by uh, claiming again and again his promises. Siguro, uh, I thank God na from the beginning up to now, we're still standing by the grace of God. Na talagang has a plan for each and every one of us. And Sabi niya nga, hindi niya tayo bibigyan ng pagsubok kung hindi natin kaya ng Him. So when he, we, we uh, uh, when He tried us, we should comfort us bold pa rin. So, um, he, oh he is able, He is, um, He is faithful. So, we just keep on trusting Him that these things that we're going through, will, He will bring it to pass. Amen. 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 Alat tulad ng sinabi ni Sister Cecilia na, na uh, minsan na gusto nating i-correct yung iba, ang um, minsan tinuturoan tayo ng Panginoon na tayo mismo muna i-correct ni Lord. Kasi tayo yung Christian, di ba? Uh, Lord, change him. Change her. No, I want to change your life. <laughs> Out of that <laughs> mess. So that's good. That's a good message. Yeah. Sige, Pastor, uh, I'm about po. Ma Alis. Magandang Ma mahali sa lahat. All of you guys, have a good lunch. Have a good lunch. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for the family. God bless everyone. Thank you, the friends, the Malcolm, the Aung family. Sister Celia Marisol. Thank you, Celia Yung asawa ko lang wala. Oh. Oh. To everybody. everybody. Amen. Ah, uh, Pwede lang kami next time. Oh, wala problema, Pastor. Mayroon kami ng ano dito. Bokalista. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Okay. We really have to share.
Uh, once to, once to of next Sunday. Okay. Next Sunday. Okay. And have a good lunch, everybody. Have a good lunch, everyone. Yes, yes. Uh,